It is the closing episode for our first season back in the Premier League. Uh, we have a little bit to talk about. We are down to our final two matches, Crystal Palace and Brentford today. We have some transfer news to talk about. A lot on the line, let me tell you. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 16, club 3 of our FM21 Journeyman Save. We are at Leicester City. We brought them back to the Premier League, winning silverware with our in our first season with the club. And we are in a dogfight for Europe qualifying. Fingers crossed that we can get across the finish line. Not sure it's the best thing for us, but... You know, it's kind of the goal. So uh, let's get into it. But first, you know, I've got to do the little spiel. Smash the like button if you like what I'm doing. Want to see more of it. That's how you support the channel. Hitting the like button helps more people see the episodes. And uh, don't forget, we do have daily Football Manager content. So make sure you check back every day, Monday through Saturday, to catch Football Manager action here on the channel. Thanks so much. All right, getting into it, we left off with uh, the extra time loss to Tottenham. Uh, we had a nil-nil draw with Man United. They completely outplayed us. They are in the top four, and so that was actually a good result. Then we beat Tottenham just, uh, you know, in, in the league action, 3-1 at home. Mikatin, Graves, and Romain with the goals. Leeds held us to a nil-nil draw. We had uh, Nogami was sent off a straight red card early. Uh, well, actually, it was in the 91st minute. So I have no excuse. They just uh, they dominated. You can see we didn't play very well. Romain played a 6-1. Cernan a 6-2. Cernan's been in a bad run of form. I just had to have a, have a sit-down discussion with the young lad. Uh, then uh, West Brom, 4-2 win. Fowler with a goal, Mikatin with a brace over four minutes, and Wheel with a goal as well. And then Newcastle uh, is second in the table. We lost 3-1 to them. Pascarello back from a little injury, gets on the score sheet late in the first half. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently in ninth place, 53 points. And I believe Euro Cup normally goes through seventh, but... Newcastle has they won the Carabao Cup, so they qualified for Euro through that, but then they've qualified for Champions League, so their Euro Cup goes. So right now, Brentford, a point ahead of us. Uh, that is huge. And, of course, we close the season with them. We would certainly like to win today against Crystal Palace to force that, and we feel a little done in by letting that Leeds match get away from us. Is what it is. Uh, taking a look at the med center, we do have a couple of injuries. Gerver still out, as we talked about last episode for the season. Nagami got hurt. He's got a day left. He came back, got hurt in training with a bruised thigh. Now, Michael McNeil has come back from his injury. Not quite fit. But uh, we'll see if he can give it a go. Uh, he has not, I don't think he's played recently. Yeah, no, he hadn't been selected. Uh, he's been in light training in the last couple of matches. Would like to get him back in, though. I'm going to toss a question out for you guys because I'm curious to know the answer. And I think we've, we've mentioned this. I had seen uh, somebody else t uh, doing a, uh, a tips video and. The insinuation was that if you've got a young player, 18, 19, 20, that still has room to develop, you know, let's say they're three-star current and four-and-a-half-star potential, that they will develop better. They, they develop actually in training, not in playing the matches. And if they're always tired from playing in matches, then they don't train as well and therefore don't actually get better. Is there any validity to that? What do you guys think? What have you heard? Let me know in the comments because I am interested. Uh, what else? Any? Oh, uh, transfer news. Uh, we have brought back 
uh, Romaine for another year. I know we had the option to buy $31 million. I don't have $31 million to buy him, but uh, let's take a look at him in the game. So he's got 30 starts, 6 goals, 14 assists, a 7.19 rating. Again, second year in a row, he has been really solid for us. 20, now, not as good as last year. Not as good as last year, but we were in the championship. So it is, it's the step up for one. Slightly different tactic, playing him in a different position. He's been the number 10 a lot this year. Uh, but again, solid year with assist, and his ratings are still up. So I'm really happy with him. Now, next season, he'll be back. It's going to be his last year under contract with Chelsea. Now, we had that $31 million, $31.5 million option. I am assuming that at some point before the end of the season, once we get the transfer budget, if I have the money, I can still exercise that clause, I think, but I don't know. I'm not sure I want to spend $31 million on him, though. I think $31 million could buy me a really, really good player if I wanted to drop that kind of money. Um, and I'm not expecting that. I think, let's see, eh, it'll be right around there, 36 and a half, 36.7 million. So, yeah, but we've also got a payroll issue that we're going to have to address. So, anyway, uh, in the competition, of course, as I said, we're one point behind Brentford, three points behind Rotherham. We've got goal differential on both of them. We just need to catch them. And I think eighth position is going to Euro 2 this year. So Crystal Palace, big matchup to force our, a, a match with Brentford that could have a lot on the line. Palace, though, won't be a pushover. They have got everything riding on this match. So let's go ahead and get into that one. So we are going to play two today. So uh, episode might be a little longer. All right, we're going to go with Gibbon. Uh, yep, Gibbon in the goal. McNeil comes back in. Kowalski and Fowler on the back line. Chasson, Mateus, Romain, Pascarello in the mid. Wheel moves up from the left wing to number 10. And Mikaton and Graves are going to be on uh, the front line. I am going to put Luke Rowe on the bench for in place of Cernan. Uh, again, just a little out of favor with me right now. Hasn't been playing well. McNeil is lacking sharpness. Not surprising. He has been out for a long, long while. But I think if, if we could get into, your, into Europe either way, geez. Uh... I'm looking at Brentford that we've gotten ahead of Brentford. Brentford hasn't played yet. That's what it is. So we've got the point to put as equal. Okay. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Thought that was a good thing. Maybe they were losing. All right. Palace is in the blue. We're in the white kits today. Little stab away by Chasson. Neil can't close that down. Cleared out. Good job. Mikaton makes a run towards it. Uh, intercepted. Chasson tried to head it clear. And McNeil tackles it right into the path. And it's put past Gibbon. That was just unlucky, I think. <coughs> unlucky. Need to do better there to come out with demand more come on boy given can't get to it but he's up back into the goal who that was nerve wracking for just a moment Neil Mateus uh, he was looking to get it through Graves did not make the run there hanged out to Chasson He's taken down at the touchline, and that's going to be a penalty. They're probably going to go to VAR to check that. They are. I think it was a penalty. 
probably a bad penalty too because he was he was all the way at the line. Romaine steps up to take it and makes it look easy. There's the equalizer. Romaine's 13th goal of the season. So again, 13 goals and, you know, double digits, you know, and I think he's got what, what did we just say? Nine. My memory isn't so great. I think it was nine assists. So very, very good there. And then, of course, we're right back with another Palace highlight. Gee whiz. Come on, fellas. Let's demand more. Need to see something. Five shots, one on target. I tell you what, we have we have not been getting the shots that I've been used to. Been the better team. We do come back straight away with a kickoff highlight. That's poor. Fowler heads it down. Ascarillo hauls that in. Cuts it inside. Almost loses it. There's a shot from range. I'm going to try something here. I know what that's going to do. It'll take effect mostly for the second half we're in, but encourage them at this point. Be positive. We get the highlight. Romaine into the box, back post. Knocked away. Chasson's back up on it. Good ball movement there. Oh, it's into Mikatan and he scores. Ninth goal of the season. And we take a 2 1 lead. That is huge. Huge. All right. But yeah, it's too early to do what I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about slowing the pace down. We're not. Keep things rolling here. Come on, boy. Intercepted by wheel. Cleared out. Nice. Oh, Graves takes the touch. Cuts inside. And he should have finished that. Oh, that could have been the game winner. That could have sealed it. How did he not get that one in the net? Oh, that was disappointing. All right. Ascarello. Bring, bring Mikeaton over there. And we're going to bring... I'm going to bring Luke Rowe in. Tempted to bring Gomez Santo. Good first touch, good passing. I'm going to go with him. And uh, let's bring off Chasson. We're going to slide wheel back there. And then we can bring Gomez Santos into the number 10. So we bring on two fresh attacking players. Wheel slides back out. He's our best left winger. You go three up top. Let me contemplate here. I'm going to drop these guys to support. Neither one of my midfielders can... Do a defensive structure. Oh, no! And Palace equalizes. They went to three three strikers, and I, I, was, I was worried about that. Damn it. How did Michael get past Gibbon for that? Nobody marked him. That was horrible. They're both on side. Fowler's facing the wrong way. Just didn't get anywhere. Come on. Near post. Oh, Jesus. You have got to be kidding me. And it is a late collapse. Oh, I am just distraught. That is the drawback with this tactic, is that it does leak goals, but it scores a lot of goals. Oh, that is near post. Mateus is there at the post, but 
He's so short, I don't think he can do anything. This one gets away from us. Oh, that is... All right, we'll try to keep him motivated because that's going to be important. So it's going to be interesting. Brent, Brentford is still a point ahead of us. So we need them to lose or draw at best. Don't know when they play. They must play Sunday. All right, let's get let's get up to our match with Brentford. We'll see where we stand, and then we'll play that match. So I'll see you guys back here for that match. In just a second. All right, I just noticed that I hadn't moved my microphone back after I had to get up, go to the kitchen. Uh, so that first part there may have been a little light, and I apologize. Uh, still trying to get acclimated to the new desk and everything. Good news, Brentford drew with West Brom. Look at the form they have been in, just dropping points all over the place. So if we take a look at the current competition, they are still in eighth, two points ahead of us. Rotherham won, so they are now well clear. And you can see Arsenal has claimed Euro Cup. Now, I know it said Newcastle took a Champions League spot, so their spot was going to go to the league. I don't know if the colors here indicating the cutoff line, I don't know if that changes. I don't think it does, but it might. Because um, I think seventh goes anyway. So I would think that eighth place is now going to be a Euro 2 spot. So what it boils down to, we've got goal differential. A draw does not help us. We need to beat Brentford. A draw or a loss, and they're in. Now, Liverpool can't catch us. So at worst, we're going to finish in ninth position. And that's going to make us a, you know... I don't know what the breakdown here is. I think in real life it's like two million dollars a spot. So we're going to be in line for about thirty-four, thirty-two to thirty-four million. Uh, but we would certainly like to get into that thirty-six slot in eighth place and be in Europe next year. So let's get to the match. A lot on the line today. Fowler is injured, but he'll be back to full training in two days. The end of the season's in two days. That doesn't do me any good. Uh, Mateus. All right, let's go. I'm going to put wheel on the outside. Romain up top. Mateus in the middle. And I'm going to bring Robert Cernan on. Or bring him on for Menza. I'm going to give him the start over Mikaton. He's our big goal scorer this season. We need him to come through. Uh, 23 goals in 36. If he cannot pull it together with the run of form he's been on lately, it may spell his doom in the offseason. All right, we're going to pump fist. Composed. We're in King Power Stadium. It's a sellout crowd. 42,000 strong. Sorry about that. That's, that was an amber alert. So look at the people. Look at the standings. Oh, my goodness. It is all on the line. There's as much riding on the line for us here as a top-of-the-table challenge. By the way, Man City has won the league. They are, uh, what's that, eight points clear? Let's encourage him. Romain lines up a corner. It's near post, headed out. Nagami. It takes a deflection and Cernan pounces on it. And that's huge. 1 0 to Lester in the 16th minute. They are challenging it. I think he was fine. I don't think he was offsides when the ball was. What? Oh, come on. I don't think he was offside. Well, yeah. Oh, God. Look at that. I hate VAR. Jesus. That's pathetic. I hate VAR. <laughs> Even when it works in my favor, I hate VAR. 
Oh, come on, boys. Oh, that was offsides, wasn't it? Yep, it was. Looks like they're going to give us the advantage. He lumps it. Headed down to Nagami. Through to Romaine. He takes a crack. It's off the woodwork. And it's cleared away. Oh, that was just fractions of an inch from bouncing down and in. Romaine, another corner near post, and it goes through. No dice. That's through. Oh, what a save by Bologna. I'm guessing that's Bologna and not Bologna. Go with the Italian pronunciation there. <laughs> Given makes the save. I don't know if it's Italian or not. No clue. Isn't there a Bologna in Italy? Isn't it Italy where that's at? I could be wrong about that too. Well, we have had all the chances here. Oh, man. Pump our fists, try to fire them up. Let's give them the encouragement here in the early going. Intercepted by Wheel. Cernan. Cernan's in space, and he can't find the finish. He has got to pull the trigger there and score. And we've got an injury. Ascarillo. All right. I've got Romaine who can slot there. Mikatin can go out there. Tell you what, I'm going to put Mikatin out there for right now. Later, I can move Mikatin up to number 10. And I've got a, and then I can put, uh, no, I can't do that. What the hell am I thinking? I don't know. All right, that's what we're going to go with, though. Come on, boys. Get a stop here. McNeil, what are you doing? Oh. I have to go up to attacking. Everything else is there. I mean, this, this tactic is, is about as attacking as I can recall ever ha having had. Uh, we're going to demand more. All right, Mikatin. There's a cross in. It's a header, and Bologna makes the save. Oh, that was on target. Ramsey. Oh, you know what? I do want to change one thing here. I'm going to distribute there. Over the top, too hard for Graves to run onto it. Wow, and now we're just playing a tennis match like we're at Wimbledon. Just tink, tink, tink. <laughs> All right, Nagami. There's a nice ball. Wheels onto it. And it's put in by Graves, his 35th of the season. There's the equalizer. Uh, let's cancel those changes because now we've equalized. All right. Come on, boys. No, offsides. Disallow it. We're all pointing. The referee is gone. It's going to count. Are you kidding me? We're not playing an offsides trap. I thought he was offside. All right. I have to go back in here. Oh, my goodness. Let's demand more. We got the equalizer. Let it slip away from us. All right. Wheel is getting tired. Spring Chasson, he's got he's got pace. He's got a lot of pace. And you know what? Cernan is struggling. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Gomez Santos. So actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, let's cancel that. Oh, where's the undo? There it is. Undo. There we go. All right. Cernan for Mikatin. And then no. I don't have anybody else that could play out there. All right, so we're going to leave Mikatin out there. 
Let's bring on Gomez Santos. Fresh legs up top. A little bit more. There's a nice ball. Mikeaton's on it. Makes a run. Beats his man. It's crossed in, but Graves cannot get on it. Back to Mateus. Nagami. And he took a crack at it. Come on, boys. Pick a pass. Oh, that just wasn't very good. And I don't know if that was just a bad through ball or Cernan couldn't get to it. Cernan has definitely fallen apart here at the end of the season. But there's, oh my God. Come on, get in there. We have got to find a goal here down the stretch, people. Mateus, Nagami, there's a big ball. Cernan, wheel. Oh, and it bounces off Bologna and goes in. That is an own goal by the keeper. We've equalized in the 79th minute. Oh, unlucky for him, but you know what? We are going to take it. We are going to take it all day long. All right, we're playing, playing decent here. Oh, that was bad. Ramsey's beaten. Oh, my God. Can somebody make a save here? That would, you know, a save, a stop, a defensive play. All right, hold on. All right, we're going to go to using tighter marking. But I think we need to stay on feet. If only because we only have three at the back. And we, if they go down, we're just completely outmanned. Headed over. I think I've got one more sub that I can make. Come on, people. Come on, boys. Find a will. Find the will. They're just passing it. Look like freaking Barcelona against us here. Kowalski, what are you doing? Over the top. Santos couldn't get on that. A deep ball. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's Romain. A heavy touch, but he's on it. Through ball. Gomez. Santos. Oh, he could have been the hero. Ooh, there was a little lag spike. Graves. All right. You know what? No. We're gonna cancel. I've only made, I've only made two subs. If we go to, we don't have. I don't think we have stoppage time, do we? Not a cup. We'll get a draw here. This is not good. Um, yeah, I am gonna make the sub. Who can be a difference maker? Not sure he can, but what's his passing ability? He's got a 16 passing. I'm going to put him in. Let's put him in for Mateus. Can't make it. Have a, oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. All that thinking for nothing. Oh, we've got a score here. Near post. Nothing's there. Small Jovich is on it. Mikatin can't keep up with him. McNeil's trying to cross him up. Knocked away, sets up a Brentford corner from one corner to another. Come on. Good save by Gibbon there. 89th minute. All right. I'm going to come off of attacking back to positive. Chasson, six minutes of stoppage time. It's in. Headed away. And Slavic's on it with a counter. Three on three. That's not good. Veneer was left wide open. Given with a huge stop. And it's over. Nagami plays a 6-3. McNeil a 6-2. 
can't really blame him because he's not a hundred percent fit. Oh man, unlucky just wasn't our day. But that means we are out of Europe. Ascarillo, we're gonna he's out for four months with a broken foot. Well, at least it was the last match of the season. So he'll have the break to get healthy. Tottenham are relegated along with Middlesbrough and West Ham. Crystal Palace, the draw against us sees them stay up or they would have been sent down on goal differential. Middlesbrough's got to love us right now, don't they? We get $34 million, ninth place. We pay out $2 million. And you know what? I'm hopeful. Maybe maybe it does change the, the, the backing color here to where Rotherham... Is, was Rotherham the last club to get in? I thought Brentford was going to be in it. Maybe it did change and add that seventh place. I thought when I was looking at the rules, seventh automatically goes, oh, the winner of the English FA Cup. Okay, so that's who got it. So it was sixth, and then it was seventh. So we weren't going to go to Europe anyway. I was stressed out for nothing. You guys could have saved me all of that gray hair. I mean, you saw them. I've gone completely gray during the recording of this episode. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 35 million. We're back up to 97. We are going to have to make some changes here in the off season. But that's for another day and another episode. Guys, thanks so much for dropping by and stressing out with me i hope uh, i hope you were as stressed out as i was although i'm sure you know all of you were sitting there going eh no big deal you're not going to europe anyway you dummy i know i know all right well we'll call it an episode there we'll come back uh, next episode for end of season review transfer window news and uh turn the page to next year Appreciate it, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget daily football manager content Monday through Saturday. Have a good one. Bye.